if you're using RStudio, this process is made significantly easier because they have a very nice UI a GUI that takes you through this whole process. And so if you're in RStudio, the first thing you do is you click on this import data set here on your environment tab and you can click on from Excel. And what you do next is you just hit browse. And in this case, I'm going to reference an Excel sheet that I've been working with. And so straight off of Microsoft Excel, you hit open and uh, it gives you a nice little preview of the data all from within the UI. So that's really nice. And I'm just gonna give it a second here to finish uh, making the preview. And uh, while that's going, um, one really cool thing to talk about here is that you have some nice tuning parameters here that you can change under the import options. And so um, like my sheet has many sheets in it. And so if I only wanted one sheet, uh, it's gonna default, I think, to your first sheet. So if you have an Excel that has multiple sheets, make sure that you're selecting the correct one. Um, and it also has this max rows uh, function that I do use because sometimes these Excel sheets contain a bunch of junk um, after the first few rows um, or you know other people's calculations and stuff so like on this stuff I scroll down a little bit past uh, you know these rows it's nonsensical data um, for what I'm needing so you can say stuff like I only want the top 20 rows and say that you've got headers and um, you can also specify ranges of the specific cells. Um, so the way the range function or input here works is you basically tell it what is the top left cell and then what is the bottom right cell. And so you kind of make a little box out of that thing. And um, that's how you're able to specify a specific range. But if you just want the whole thing, then you don't put any range and you wouldn't put any max rows number either. So um, that is how you do it and that's how easy it is. And um, you can also change what the data frame itself will be called. So I'll just call this a test VS data frame. And um, from there, you also have this little code snippet, um, which is awesome. So all you have to do is control C, copy that stuff. And um, you can hit import, which will do the same thing. Um, and here is all the data just like that in a data frame and now you can start doing filters and plots and everything else you love doing in R um, on that Excel sheet. So it is super fast and easy to work with and to get this stuff into the R language. Um, they're really great at that. I really appreciate that. Um, and the actual code snippet here, um, I'm doing a mar R markdown uh, file right here, um, but you can just paste that in and it's really good about just getting you exactly what you need. Um, I will say that when you paste in the code here, uh, you do need to make sure that you're referencing the absolute path for that file. And so if you don't know what that path is, then you need to call the get working directory method within R to actually figure that out. And then um, and another thing I do is I concatenate the strings together. So I use the paste method. So um, if you're doing this on your own Excel and your Excel is living somewhere on your local computer um, or it's within wherever you're, so do a print statement to figure out where is that current directory or working directory uh, when you're doing this stuff. But basically um, it will tell you exactly where you are so that you know uh, where to find that Excel sheet. Um, but yeah, so that's the code snippet. Just be careful about this path variable or argument that you supply to the read Excel method. Um, but apart from that, you should be good to go and it helps you get off to the races really, really fast. And uh, I am coming from Python and I know that working with Excel sheets in Python can be pretty challenging and you don't get anywhere near as nice of a UI as RStudio gives you to uh, do this stuff in. So I think it's really great stuff if you are doing that. Um, so hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys next time.